I wanted to ask you about this concept of democracy because I've heard leaders in the ecosystem say, ah, yes, open gov is a great democracy. And I've also believe I've heard you say open gov was never intended to be a democracy. Now, I think the term is a little bit ambiguous, one of these terms we take for granted. Can you help define what you see as democracy and speak to the role it plays in open gov? Yeah, so this is some, this is a conversation I had many many years ago with uh, with Aaron about what a democracy is. Yeah, there's a good quote from Peep Show. Uh, it's a great comedy on on in the UK. I can heartily recommend everybody uh, watch it. Um, I think the quote is, "Can't I just have everything I want all of the time? Isn't that what a democracy is?" <laughs> um, I mean, you know, you can if you want to like a. Like the idealized democracy, there's the Athenian democracy, right? So this is the original, this is where the word comes from, mm -hmm. rule by the people. Of, and in this case, it was a particular city, and it was uh, in ancient Greece. And it's, you know, the people that could vote were like, not the slaves, not the women. <laughs> right. <laughs> the guys of a certain age. Like, <laughs> uh, Ruled by these people. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it was, a, it was a broad enough group. It was like, mm. you know, in the tens of thousands that it, 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 well, in the thousands anyway, uh, that it made sense uh, to give it a, a name different to um, all of the other things that are basically dictatorships, monarchies, imperial, mm -hmm. aristocracies, and so forth. It's used, saying X is a democracy is pretty meaningless these days, mm. unless we specifically want to refer to an Athenian democracy, like one person, one vote. Um, and even then, it's questionable what if that translates into the modern day, where you know we have uh, we, we do broadly expect to have um, uh, everybody's vote be counted equally, hmm. everybody to be able to have a vote. Maybe not three year olds, but like maybe yeah. maybe three year olds should be able to vote. I don't know. <laughs> um, instead, what we can talk about is uh, demo democratic a system being democratic, and it might be more or less democratic. Mm. So we can imagine a system that has proportional representation, that has universal suffrage, that has um, uh, high turnout numbers, um, maybe even pays for, for people to turn out. Um, this might might be a more democratic system to like a system where it's like there's only two parties and it doesn't matter which party you vote for in almost all of the areas, uh, almost all uh, regions that you live. Hmm. This might be considered a less democratic system. Uh, it's still not like not a democracy or something, but like it's not very democratic. Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, Democratic democracy, rule of the people. So it's like, is the, is the rule in the hands of the people? I guess that's like a good um, rule of thumb to determine whether a system is democratic. It's mm -hmm. like, are there interests here that could be said to be, to influence an outcome greater than people, the people? Um, but this is like a whole... Uh, avenue of political philosophy that you know I know too little about to really um, uh, uh, give a, a considered opinion on. Um, the only thing I would say is that there isn't a particularly well-received uh, understanding of the word democracy, mm -hmm. and and the best I could do with democratic is saying a system is more democratic if any given individual has approximately the same uh, level of influence of the system over any other individual. Sure. That doesn't really, uh, uh, that's a fairly theoretical, like abstract definition. And yeah. it's not, not so easy to, um, um, to reason. I mean, it's not trivial to reason how democratic any given system is. Mm -hmm. um, you'd have to analyze how much influence any given individual has. And the, the interesting point I'd note here is that it's not about voting systems. Voting systems play a large part, uh, but it's not merely about voting systems. Um, as I mentioned uh, before, one can conceive a democratic system, one can actually conceive of a perfectly democratic system that has no voting system. Uh, this would be the um, dictator for a day uh, with a perfectly random selection over which citizen is the dictator for any given day. Okay. 
right? And All this right. is perfectly democratic by my mm. by by my um, uh, definition. Sure. Because everybody um, has the has the same level of influence over the system as anybody else. Everyone has the same chance of becoming uh, the dictator. And you know, we could just say, well, one person is dictator for. Uh, you know, uh, uh, ten years, <laughs> but uh, and we choose that person randomly. And technically, until we choose that person, as long as it is a random selection, mm -hmm. then um, it is also a perfect democracy because everybody has the same chance of influencing. Uh, okay, so it's about chances, not about. Well, I mean, uh, there is no other way of mathematically reasoning other than uh, other than through probability in this case because it's a probabilistic outcome. Mm -hmm. It's like who will be the dictator? Well, who will who will have? Um, Influence over any given decision. Well, it's randomly determined. Um, okay, what are the chances? Well, I have exactly, if I'm, I don't know, in the system with a million other people, I have exactly one millionth of a chance, which by the definition of a perfectly democratic system means that I have exactly the same level of influence as everybody else. Right. Because exactly. it's exactly the same millionth of a chance of being the one who decides something. Right. Well, you know, this is all very ideological. And in the end, ideology doesn't always translate into progress and efficiency in the real world.